Pinder, Policy and Research Fellow at the Climate Institute. Looking at how we can be in with a decent chance of limiting temperature to 2 degrees, the globally agreed level, the IPCC and others find that we need to be heading for zero emissions by the middle of the century. Most studies find that innovative technologies are likely to be required that can reduce the level of carbon in the air, um, and these are called carbon removal or negative emission technologies. Of these technologies, bioenergy with carbon capture and storage, also known as BioCCS or BECS, is likely to be the most climate safe as it can store carbon on geological timescales and also has the option to displace um, energy and, uh, fossil fuel emissions from the energy and indus industrial sectors. With this in mind, we teamed up with one of Australia's leading energy modelers, SKM, to try and identify how Australia could adapt its behaviour and technologies to meet ambitious climate goals. And the study showed that BioCCS could play an important role. By 2050, it has the capacity to be reducing and removing emissions equivalent to one and a half times Australia's current cars. Um, as expected, the study showed the importance of renewables and other low-carbon technologies as well, which need to, re which need to halve emissions um, in the electricity sector by 2030, regardless of whether BioCCS is available. The study also showed the difficult trade-offs and choices that need to be made if BioCCS doesn't become available, and they include um, higher levels of climate change, higher economic costs of reducing climate goals, and or a higher reliance on emission permits, international emission permits. So what needs to be done? The priority is to develop the technology, and for that we need a coherent policy framework. In the short term, this needs to include technologies which are specifically targeted to bioenergy and carbon capture and storage, but this also needs to be underpinned by a broader um, reward system for carbon removal, such as a carbon price with, um, with a system of credits or an escalating emissions performance standards. In the longer term, as the technology becomes more, is being deployed more widely, the sustainability of bioenergy becomes increasingly important. And this is something that needs to be addressed both on a global and a regional scale. Advanced biofuels like algae that don't compete with food production will play an increasing role and can help, but we also need to be ensuring that we're only importing bioenergy from regions that have the same standards as we would expect at home. So we hope this study stimulates deep debate around the role of carbon removal technologies. And for more information, please visit our website.